Okay guys, welcome back to, I think it's probably like now 22nd or 23rd uh, tutorial now. Uh, today's going to be very short, very simple, we're not probably not going to use any code or anything, we're just going to learn how to create a small little mini-map for our uh, game. And that is, if you have ever played like a shooter game uh, or like Call of Duty or something, you have this small little square or circle map that's somewhere in the corner of the screen that you can see like a top down view and it shows you like your scene and what's, in, what's around you and things like that. That's what we're going to do today. So if we jump straight into here you can see that I have or I've pretty much created a very simple game. The only thing this does is it has a square here which is the player and you can move the player around and you have these little objects in here just spheres. I just added them in so we can see them uh, move around in the minimap on the top down view so they don't do anything. You can go through them, nothing happens and you, yeah, they don't move at all. So that's it. The only thing you can move is the square. Uh, so let's go and start making our minimap. So first of all, let's go and create the image that we will add the camera view to. So for that we're going to create two images, one is going to be a normal image and that's going to be the background so that we have a little border around our, our minimap and then the second is going to be a raw image that we're going to place on top of our uh, normal image that will be slightly smaller which will give us that border around the minimap so to start off with let's go create an image so now that has created a canvas so if we switch to our scene view here we can double click on our image and that will take us to that. If we switch to 2D mode and then zoom out we can see that the image is now in the middle. Uh, so let's go ahead and posi position, posi position that, sorry, my bad, uh, to the right of the screen. And then we are going to change the width of that to about 250 I think. And the height of that to 250 so it's a square and then we'll also shift that down um, by 50 and also to the left by 50 so down and to the left so that it's not quite at the, on, at the edge of the screen so that looks good so that's going to be the border of the uh, of our like our camera view so let's go ahead and change that to probably like a black color you can make it whatever color you want but for our game we will make it black and the next thing is we want to create a, another raw image and that is what we're going to tell to display the, the camera, like what the camera sees. So that is now in as a child object of our image which means it's in the center of the image. So for, for this let's go and uh, what do we want the width to be? For our image we made 250 so we're going to make it a bit smaller. So actually we'll make it 250. Uh, 250 by 250 and then for our image we'll make that slightly bigger maybe 260 260 by 260 so we've got that small little border around it which looks pretty good so let us see so now what we want to do is we want to go and create a texture because if we click on our raw image you can see there's a texture here that we want to fill in and that is how we're going to tell it what to display so let's go into our assets folder here and let's create a render texture over there and we'll call this our minimap mini map, uh, texture like that and then we will change the size of this to the same size of our raw image which was I think 250 by 250 so just make it slightly smaller than what it originally was and now to do to make the raw image display whatever on this texture, uh, we'll just go ahead and drag that in from our, um, our project folder into the texture field on the, our raw image. So I'll drag that in and drop that in there. So now you can see that that has gone black because obviously there's nothing on it yet. And to fix that, what we have to do is we need to go and create another camera. So let's go and create a camera. So right click and create camera and we'll call this mini map camera like that cool and then what else we want to do is we want to simply drag the mini map texture that we created in our project folder into the what's it called the te target texture of our camera so by doing this that that should now display 
um, whatever the this camera is seeing inside of our minimap so that's exactly what it's doing so if we double click on our minimap camera and we go to the scene here and we go back to 3d you can see that whatever this is looking at which is this way this is what we see in that minimap so that's that so now the only thing we have left to do is to go and reposition this camera on top of our player so to do that let's go to our scene and we'll double click on our player to focus on it either double click or press F so now what we want to do is we're going to go ahead and copy our transform the position of the transform of our player by doing that and then we will go to our camera minimap camera and we'll paste those same values paste them onto our transform so now our camera is there so you can see in our minimap um, the camera is now displaying the same thing that the player is the, the, the player can see so that's fine so now the only thing we want to do is we want to go and shift this up a bit so we'll turn it go and push it up probably let's see let's go and make this about 10 like that and then we will rotate it on the x-axis 90 degrees so it's looking down and then something else we want to do is because um, at the moment when you move the player the, the camera is not going to move with it so to fix this let's go ahead and drag the minimap camera onto our player object so now if we play the game you should see that whenever we move the player our uh, our we'll go ahead and delete this now quickly because we don't really need our audio listen listen up but ignore that for now but whenever we move our player you should see that the minimap updates so we can move around and play the camera rotates with the player and yeah that's pretty much everything we have to do so first of all let's go ahead and delete the audio listener of off of our minimap camera because we don't really need that and we already have one on the main camera so that is pretty much it so that should work perfectly fine so we'll test this quick just play the game quick and see if it works So if we if this eventually loads and we can see that it should work perfectly fine. So oh yeah, everything's working nicely, no errors anymore, and the camera is following the player perfectly fine. So that is pretty much how you make a very simple minimap uh, overhead view. Um, something else you can do, I forgot actually, that we needed to do is for our minimap. Let us go and change the what is it? the projection to orthographic so that pretty much makes it look like everything is flat on your minimap so if we go to the game window here it looks uh, pretty flat and not like a 3d so if you change this to perspective you can see that there is some depth to it so uh, most games usually use like an orthographic orthographic projection which is what you would typically use and it looks much better but yeah that is pretty much it for this episode so hopefully that was helpful and that was something you were interested in and yeah very si simple and quick tutorial on how to do that but yeah that's it for this video so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next tutorial bye